everyone welcome back to my channel today I want to share with you how I create this look I was in the drugstore and I stumbled across this little product right here it's the Revlon photo ready eye heart this is perfect for the lids and the lash line I just couldn't resist and I'm pleasantly surprised that I haven't seen it anywhere else on YouTube they are fairly new and they have a bunch of them I decided to just go with just one just to test to see you know what the result would be well and mm, nice and this um have some glitter in it this is like um this side definitely is for doing um, liners. So, I'm going to show you how I use my newfound love to create this. So, let's get into the video. I just want you to know that um, in this video, I focus only on the eyes. I did the eyes on camera and then I went off camera and did the rest of my makeup. So what you will be seeing is me getting this eyes all dolled up using this Revlon photo shutter stick along with um, my Morphe palette. So let's get into the eyes. So first I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Primer Shadow Primer to prime the eyes. I'm putting this all over the lid and the entire eyes, blending it out nicely to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing. I'll be using this Morphe 35N Neutral Palette, no names and these shadows, so I will put a point into the shadow. I'm using this light brown shadow all over my lid to set my eye shadow primer. Then I'm going to take this brown shadow and I'm going to be blending it in the crease, also above the crease blending it slowly, bringing it back and forth above the crease and in the corners of the eye. I'm using this nice dark brown shadow in the outer corner, darkening the edges even more to create a nice transition between the lid and the crease. Once again, blending, blending, blending. Next, I'm using this mauve shadow to give the brown a nice mauve dark appearance. Next, I'm going to darken the outer edges a little more using this black shadow. And I'm going to be focusing this black shadow mostly on the crease, dragging it a little towards the outer edge and a little towards the inner corner of the eye. I then take a clean brush, blending it all in, giving it a uniform look. Next, I'm reaching back in the palette using this lighter shade to lighten the inner corners. I'm going in with the Pro Primer Shadow Base and I'm going to clean the lid up. I'm cleaning it all the way to the crease, preparing it for the eyelid pigment shadow. This will give it a nice clean pop. Here is the big showdown, photo ready heart in gold. I'm putting it all over the lid 
right where I had just cleaned up. I'm taking my time here, trying to have a nice clean line between the lid and the crease. I'm taking this black shadow to darken the corners a little bit more. Blending, blending, blending. Next I'm taking a clean brush, blending it slightly to create a smooth transition between the dark and the light. And then use this light shadow to lighten the inner corners a bit more. I'm going in this Morphe P palette with this nice gold shadow and I'm going to use it to brighten the inner corners and also halfway and the lower lash line. I'm using this e.l.f. makeup removal pen to clean up the edges. Next I'm going to take this dark shadow and I'm going to be using it to line the lower lash line. I'm going to bring this dark shadow to meet the gold shadow. Next I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'm going to clean up the outer edges. Then I'm going to take this cat eye Giordano liner and I'm going to make a small wing line. I'm taking my time here because I'm not so comfortable making my wing on Next I'm using my Ultimate Performance Perfector Pencil Duo by Mali and I'm using it to brighten my waterline. I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara for my upper lashes and the Maybelline Mega Lent for my lower lashes. I'm going back using this lighter shade to brighten the brow bone and then I'm going to use these lashes that I picked up at my Connor Beauty Supply Store. Next I'm going to go off camera to finish up my makeup. This is the finished look guys. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you in my next video.